Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and the bell button for notifications. In my previous video, we have talked about addition and subtraction of fractions. If you haven't watched that video yet, please click the suggested video above. For this video, we are going to talk about addition and subtraction of decimals. Decimals are added and subtracted just like whole numbers. Align the decimal points, add or subtract the numbers in columns, and insert the decimal point in the answer immediately beneath the decimal points in the numbers being added or subtracted. For addition of decimals, let's have our first example. Five thousandths plus nine and six hundred eighty-four thousandths. Now our first step is to align the decimals. Make sure that you align the decimal points. Then we add the numbers. Five plus four is nine. Zero plus eight is eight. Zero plus six is six. Zero plus nine is nine. Then we affix the decimal point. Remember, decimal points should be aligned. So we place the decimal point between 9 and 6. Therefore, our final answer 9 and 689 thousandths. Another example we have 34 and 95 thousandths plus 8 and 68 hundredths. For first step, we align the decimal points. Then we add 5 plus nothing is 5 or simply bring down 5. Then we add 9 and 8 that gives us 17 carry 1 or rather 7 carry 1. 1 plus 0 plus 6 is 7. 4 plus 8 is 12. So we have 2 carry 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. Then again, we affix the decimal point. In adding decimals, the decimal points are always aligned. So we affix the decimal point between 2 and 7. And that is our final answer, 42 and 775 thousandths. In subtraction of decimals, we follow the same rule. Let's have an example, 37 and 428 thousandths less 10 and 634 thousandths. Our first step is to arrange the numbers in order where the decimal points are aligned. We align the decimal point. Then our process is subtraction, so we subtract the numbers. 8 less 4 is 4. 2 less 3 cannot be, so we borrow 1 from 4. And we cancel 4, that will become 3. And the one that we have borrowed, we affix it with 2. We have now 12 less 3 is equal to 9. Next, 3 less 6 cannot be. So we borrow 1 from 7. 7 becomes 6. And we affix 1 to 3. That is 13. Now we can subtract 13 less 6. That is equal to 7. Next, 6 less 0 is equal to 6, and 3 less 1 is equal to 2. Now, the last step is to fix the decimal point and align it to the decimal points of the numbers above. We put it between 6 and 7, and our final answer is 26 and 794 thousandths. Since we did a lot of borrowing in subtraction, we might have doubts with our answer. So the only way to cure the doubt is to check the answer. And if you have remembered in your elementary grades, we check our subtraction through addition. Let's add the difference 26 and 794 thousandths plus 10 and 634 thousandths that should be equal to 37 and 428 thousandths. Now to check, we follow the same rule in the addition of decimals. 
first we align the decimal points then we add it 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 9 and 3 is equal to 12 that's 2 carry 1 then 1 plus 7 plus 6 is equal to 14 that's 4 carry 1 then 1 plus 6 plus 0 is equal to 7 2 and 1 gives us 3 then we affix the decimal point aligned we affix it between 7 and 4 therefore our answer 37 and 428 thousandths is correct please click the subscribe button and bell button for notifications thank you another example let's have 65 and 30 thousandths less 26 and 732 thousandths following the same steps we align the decimal points then we subtract we cannot subtract 2 from 0 so we should borrow 1 from 3 now 3 becomes 2 and then we should affix 1 before 0 so that gives us 10 now 10 less 2 is equal to 8 next we cannot subtract 3 from 2 so we borrow 1 from 0 and we cannot borrow 1 from 0 so we borrow 1 from 5 5 becomes 4 now we affix 1 to 0 or 1 before 0 it will give us 10 now we can borrow 1 from 10 10 becomes 9 and we affix 1 before 2 that gives us 12 12 less 3 is equal to 9 9 less 7 is equal to 2 we cannot subtract 6 from 4 so we borrow 1 from 6 6 becomes 5 and 4 becomes 14 14 less 6 is equal to 8 5 less 2 is equal to 3 then we have fixed the decimal point align it our final answer 38 and 298 thousandths let's check if our answer is correct the difference 38 and 298 thousandths plus 26 and 732 thousandths is equal to 65 and 30 thousandths we follow the same process in addition of decimals we align the decimal points and then add it 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 we have 0 carry 1 1 plus 9 is 10 plus 3 is 13 3 carry 1 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 plus 7 is 10 we have 0 carry 1 1 plus 8 is 9 plus 6 is 15 we have 5 carry 1 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 2 we have 6 and now we affix the decimal point align our answer 65 and 30 thousandths is correct so answering subtraction 38 and 298 thousandths is correct now let's try an example that involves both addition and subtraction of decimals perform the indicated operation two and five hundredths plus three and twenty two thousandths less ninety one hundredths plus six and three hundred eighty nine thousandths now my tip here if an operation involves various operations like this we have addition we have subtraction I can see more addition sign than subtraction sign so I will do the addition first I will add 2 and 5 hundredths 3 and 22 thousandths we make sure that our decimal points are aligned and then finally we add 6 and 389 thousandths aligning the decimal point 2 plus 9 is 11 that's 1 carry 1 1 plus 5 plus 2 plus 8 so when adding various numbers or a lot of numbers numbers more than 2 
I first find if I can find two numbers that can give me a 10. That's 8 and 2. That's 10. Then I add 5 and 1. 6. I have 16. 6. Carry 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. 2 plus 3 is 5. Plus 6 is 11. Then we affix the decimal point. Aligned. Next, we proceed to the subtraction of 91 hundredths from 11 and 461 thousandths. Again, we should align the decimal points and then we proceed to subtraction. We bring down 1 or 1 less 0 is equal to 1. Still, 6 less 1 is 5. We cannot subtract 9 from 4, so we borrow from 1. 1 now becomes 0. And then we affix 1 before 4. That makes 4, 14. 14 less 9 is equal to 5. Then 0 less 0 is still 0. And then we bring down 1. And affixing the decimal point aligned, our final answer is 10 and 551 thousandths. To sum it up, in addition and subtraction of decimals, first, we should align the decimal point. Second, we proceed on the operation. The operation is either addition or subtraction. Third, we affix the decimal point. And then lastly, we check our final answer. And that's the end of our lesson in addition and subtraction of decimals. In my next video, I am going to talk about multiplication and division of fractions. Now stay tuned, keep subscribed, keep notified, and thank you for watching.